Hello and welcome to the short report for Parshas Shalach from Shlishi to Ravi. In this week's Parsha, we have the story of the Muraglim, and as a result, the Bnei Yisrael are told that they cannot enter Eretz Yisrael. They will stay in the desert for 40 years. The Divna Magid asks, why is it that Hashem did not forgive the Bnei Yisrael when they re- re- realized their error? In fact, Hashem said, Salachti, yet they have to wait 40 years, and this generation died in the Midbar. So as is his way, he explained using a mushal, using a parable, there was once a poor man who became wealthy, and when it became time to marry off his daughter, he was approached by Shadchan, and the matchmaker said, I have two choices for you. I have a wealthy family, but they do not have good meadows. Their son is a boor, and uh, that's one option. Alternatively, I have this rabbi, his son, he's an esteemed rabbi, a Tamil Chacham, but you'll have to pay for the entire wedding. So the man thought about it and he said, I'd like to marry the Ben Tamil Chacham. I'd like to marry him to the rabbi's family. But I have one condition, and that is that the rabbi will contribute by buying a suit for his son and some jewelry for my, my daughter. I'll pay for the rest of it. However, the rabbi says, no, you must pay for the whole thing. Um, but this is something that the man would not accept. And he said, well, if I have to pay for the whole thing, then I'd rather go with the rich family and they'll split the cost with me. The Shadchan spoke to the man and he reconsidered and he said, you're right, I still want to marry into the rabbi's family. However, when they went back to the rabbi, the rabbi says, nope, I no longer accept the conditions even though you're going to pay for the whole thing now. The reason is because until now I thought the reason you want to marry to my family is because you appreciated Torah and what goes with it. But since you could even consider as an alternative marrying to this other family that does not have good character traits, then I realize that you don't fully appreciate the, the value and I don't want to marry into your family. The Nimshal, the explanation is that the Bnei Yisrael, initially you could have thought that the Bnei Yisrael appreciated the Kedusha of Eretz Yisrael, the greatness of Eretz Yisrael for its own merits. But once they hesitated and they said, oh, we'd rather go back into Egypt, we'd be better off there, that shows that they didn't appreciate Eretz Yisrael for the Kedusha. Perhaps they thought it was Eretz Yisrael Udvash, but it was going to be a hardship, then they'd rather go back to Egypt. And for that, he could not forgive them. So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful Shabbos and a wonderful day.